Hello guys, welcome to KTB Productions, I'm Chris. Today we're at Dunstall Castle in Worcestershire. It's an old disused castle, reigning from around about the 1700s. It used to be a church as well as a castle. Uh, it's well derelict now. Uh, it's, a real, it's a real funny one, this one. It's odd, it's just in on the side of a road in there. Uh, just outside of uh, Tewkesbury. As you can see it behind me there. It's quite odd. It's weird, but it's nice, but it's odd. As you can see. Uh, been plagued by ladybirds. There's thousands of them here. There's a little moat around it with a walkway on it. Uh, I'll just cross over the road. And you can see it.
Adam in 1766 is one of Croom's three outer eye catchers. These buildings were designed to catch your eye from the court and other points around the park, ensuring you realise how huge the Earl's estate was. Adam deliberately designed Dunstall Castle as a whimsical folly with elements of both a castle and a church. Inside the central tower, a steep spiral staircase leads to a flat form from where one can view part of Croom designed landscape, Croom Court and the surrounding countryside. By 2009, the castle was getting close to become a real ruin. The National Trust was able to acquire and restore Dunstall Castle in 2010, thanks to substantial funding from Natural England enabling us to piece back together another element of the original design of Croom's landscape. The central staircase during restoration uh, you can climb it at certain times of the year. There is a set of ladders there, but they are pitched about 12 foot up and they do attach another ladder to it to uh, be able to climb it. Uh, but that's only on certain times of the year. Yeah, very interesting. That's it. It's part of the War Records Office as well. There it is. joining us today and if you like my videos please consider to subscribe or give us a thumbs up hit the notification bell for up and coming more videos this is Chris from KTB Productions thank you take care